Phantom has achieved 214,000% in gains since March 2020. In this video, we're going to dive down into the technical analysis for FTM to see exactly what could happen next here with this particular project. As we get into this, if you do find it useful and informative, hit that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you'll be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right, with that said, done and out of the way, let's dive down into the charts here and talk about what's going on here with FTM. So obviously we have the daily chart and we can really see the kind of impulsive moves that we've been seeing here with FTM over the course of this bull run. Really starting back up in 2020, uh, around March, right? March had a good crash with crypto and we basically saw uh, everything pull right down in March. Uh, around the 14th or so, we kind of bottomed out here with FTM and then we got a nice surge to the upside. Now, this was a particularly fantastic opportunity if you're an early adopter of this project where when it started at the bull run, it was 0.0017 of a cent, right? So fantastic to see this opportunity that could have been had very, very early on. Now, after we saw a good surge with wave one, there was still fantastic opportunities within wave two, bringing us down as low as uh, 1.2 cent. So even fantastic opportunities in these low areas before we really went on a run with wave three, pull back for wave four to accumulate a bit more. And then obviously a recent surge to the upside, completing a 4.236 extension on the Fibonacci retracement zone. Now, obviously this is a project that Chris has been talking about quite a bit. And um, so I'm just going to play a quick clip of Chris calling this out on Sunday. Moving on, so the second pick is going to be Phantom, uh, two dollars seventy-two at six seventy-six percent up for the day. Now you know it has just been on a bit of a you know an upward sort of motion. Again, this is a project that I've been calling out. I think it's going to do really well. They've just um, you know done an upgrade, um, which is going to you know support with the uh, blockchain uh, trilemma. Um, so, you know, it's going to be more scalable, more secure and all that sort of wonderful stuff. So for, for me, you know, we're going to start to see this one really start to, to pop off. We know there's quite a few people um, doing a lot of building on Phantom at the minute. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all evolves. Um, so do let me know in the comments below where you think this is a, a good project. Obviously, speed, security, scalability with that upgrade. You know, it's, it's fantastic to see them sort of improving uh, the fundamentals of the project. So obviously Chris has had a fantastic track record with indicating these projects super early and obviously we have another one here basically in the bag where we had a good surge after Chris has actually already spoken about this one potentially popping to the upside in the very near future. Now, obviously, as we dive into this, you can obviously see that 214,000% in just 591 days. A very significant amount of gains have been made here in a very short space of time. So if you're an early adopter of this one, you've done incredibly well. Even if you are getting in lower down in this wave two or potentially, you know, even somewhere in this wave three or the lower area of wave four, you've definitely done well to get where we are right now. No one who bought at the top of May would have been in a loss right now if they had held holded their way through and actually taken this up to the next level. The qu biggest question question on everyone's lips though is is this likely to continue is there any more left in the tank is this going to continue now considering how uh, you know, early we are you know in this bull run in terms of the fact that we are not at the end of December we are not at the end of the bull run i.e that should be approximately around the beginning of of uh, of 2022 right the first quarter then actually there's plenty of room still to grow here with ftm so the question then becomes how high is this thing likely to go and to help us with that we're going to choose some uh trend-based FIB extensions here to kind of get take a look at these trends that we had with wave two, wave three, and wave four, and see where wave five could potentially take us. And um, so when we go ahead and take the low area here of uh, wave two, the high area of our third impulsive wave to the upside, we'll take that into consideration, and then we'll pull down into our lower bound here for our wave four. This then basically shows us with the FIB area potentially moving out to $4.12 with this particular project. And again, it could have something fundamentally that shifts and changes that could actually outperform even these trends. But right now, based on the trends of this particular bull run, we have a little bit more to go, taking us from our current position here of $3.17 up to a theoretical high of, uh, of about $4.12 would be an extra 30% move on our current position. I do think that is something that's very, very likely to happen. And we might actually go ahead and over wick up and beyond that. I think at this point in time, it's going to be really difficult to kind of get a good gauge on where things are likely to go. But we can, of course, take into consideration a few additional moves. We just delete that trend based fib with a nice target of about $4.12 and actually go ahead and focus in on these most recent kind of trends that we've had here. As in, we've had this really big impulsive move to the upside. 
Now we will be expecting a bit of a correction and a bit of an ABC that we had seen previously, but I still think there's more room to grow here if we consider an impulsive move to the upside. So if we consider that this move here is an A, B and C correction, this is usually followed up with a bigger impulsive A, well, one, two, three, four and five, right? So again, we'll be monitoring that situation to see whether or not we are going to continue this growth to the upside with this impulsive wave kind of being in here, looking for an ABC correction before another impulsive move to the upside with another five impulse waves. Again, really interesting to see where this thing kind of goes out. So let's see if we can actually dive down into this a little bit deeper. And um, before we do that, we're going to jump over to the Avida.io dashboard just to talk about the sentiment in the space and the underlying value of the cryptocurrency. For those who are unfamiliar, there's a link in the description down below. Avida.io is completely free to use and it uses artificial intelligence machine learning to help us understand the cryptocurrencies a little bit more than you would normally find on the charts. Now, this is a rating based platform, which means you get an overall rating for Phantom here of B1. When we come down, we go into what they call power factors, which help us identify very specific areas of Phantom where there might be problems or where there might be some fantastic things going on. So as we get into this, we have an AMIHAD ratio here in A2. This is basically your liquidity. An A2 rating is top tier, so it's basically indicating there's no problems with liquidity. Buying and selling uh, is pretty fluid and there's no issues there. The profitability, A1, obviously with 214,000% in gains, obviously that is top tier when it comes to profitability in an ROI. As we come on down, we have a fear and greed index that's a rating of D. Now that fear and greed index or rating of D is basically extreme fear right now. As specifically as we've entered that top tier here with this particular run, we are expecting profits to be taken. Now, so it's in that people are more willing to sell right now than they are willing to buy. So we have to be a little bit cautious with the current uh, price of, uh, you know, Phantom, FTM. There might be some smaller time, uh, smaller time uh, kind of pullbacks, I guess, uh, where we want to be monitoring to see whether or not on those smaller time frames like the hourly or the 15 minutes, to see those kind of pullbacks occur, those ABC corrections. And again, you'll be able to leverage those and use those to your advantage. Now, I say this because we have a sharp ratio here that's an A2 rating. An A2 uh, sharp ratio basically is indicating that the rewards outweigh the risks. The risk reward ratio is actually in our favor for actually having exposure to FTM longer term. So we have some volatility on the smaller time frames with people more likely to sell FTM than they are to buy. And again, that fear that is up for sale could be utilized as an advantage to people who are aware that actually the rewards outweigh the risks. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. Chris is not a financial advisor. It's important that you do your own research. Using evide.io to help you with that research might be a part of something that you want to do. Again, links in the description below, completely free to use. And this platform has been right more times than I can count. So you want to make sure that that sharp ratio is in your favor. And if they have got a certain amount of fear here in the space, do expect some kind of pullback to occur be that on the smaller time frames, and you could basically pick that up and then ride this to the next level. So ultimately, the underlying value here for, for Phantom is actually looking pretty good. So when we come back to the chart, what we're going to do is we're going to take, take a look at this impulsive move and this correction right here to see whether or not this uh, is going to indicate any good moves to the upside. So as we come on here and we actually pull this down, we can see a good move to $5.28. Again, that kind of move there, just based on that trend, would actually allow us to see a good move of 66% still in the tank. But we would obviously expect a bit of an, an ABC correction to occur, as it said, maybe taking us down to $2.50. Uh, nine cent or something like that, two hundred and fifty, yeah, two dollars fifty nine. Uh, would be a good area of support. This is an area that we were finding resistance on. So again, coming back down with an ABC, finding that as a support, could then actually take this up to the next level, heading towards that five dollar twenty eight level uh, within the Fibonacci four point two three six extension. So overall, everything's looking very very good from an FTM perspective. Uh, we've got good traction here. Uh, obviously, completing out that entire impulsive move. Um, you know from our you know, top of wave three, bottom of wave four, um, really looking now to extend above and beyond that. Uh, and I don't expect too much more left in the tank, but I am expecting, you know, significant price bumps from our current position, probably taking us up towards that kind of $5.28 area. That seems pretty plausible. Again, just based on the trends of wave two, wave three, wave four, we can see $4.12. That again, that's a nice comfortable area, about another dollar or so from where we are right now. And again, you know, if we could potentially over wick from there up to that $5.28 zone. So I think Think there's a few interesting targets to kind of be mindful of but again we are expecting some volatility and um, but again taking a look at this hourly in a bit of detail here, uh, we can obviously see that kind of the downward trend that we broke out of uh, pushing up here. We can see that the pullbacks already occurring here on the hourly, right? We can actually just expand this up and we can already see this ABC correction kind of playing out. It's a really small one on the hourly, but you basically have an A, uh, B, and now we're looking for the complete the C. We might just drop down a little bit lower. 
Um, good support would potentially be found at $2.99 on that ABC um, if we're likely to pull back that far, which is unlikely considering, of course, that stochastic is in the oversold area. So we are looking to push that up. And if we throw the volumes in here, you can, of course, see uh, a little bit of that selling volume coming in here, right? Really dragging us down when we found the top profits were be being taken. We did drop the volume as we dropped the price. That's actually helping to protect this free fall right now to actually find good levels of support. Now, there is a gap in the middle here, and um, this might be the opportunity for many people in the space so let me just go ahead and just draw that out for you guys and um, so you can see that there is a gap that was left behind just in here we haven't really had much activity so i imagine that a c wave coming into this zone will be quite a key area for accumulating uh, ahead of the next surge to the upside with phantom everything's looking very good though um overall we've uh, have good structure on that daily and the weekly and of course the hourly is looking pretty good from uh, the continuing this surge to the upside overall everything's looking pretty good for phantom so i will leave the video there if you have found this video useful and informative hit that like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap that bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next